Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Goldsmith. It was a very lucky final day of Balloon Fiesta, much as it's been all Fiesta long, where pilots took off for the ninth day in a row. As News 13's Haley Rush explains, that's rarer than you might think. For the ninth day in a row. Uh, it's been something. And for what Balloon Fiesta officials say is the second time in history. Well, it's about as successful as you can get. Pilots were able to take off for every mass ascension. We've come to the field thinking there's no way we're going to fly. The weather is not going to let us fly, and it's been great every day. Officials say the last time pilots got the green light for all nine days was back in 1996. I've talked to a lot of people, many pilots that have been here as many as 35 <laughs> years, and none of them remember any balloon fiesta where we've had a, a successful mass ascension every single day. For the balloonists here, the long streak is everything they could hope for. It's just a great thing flying. I mean, that's what we come out here to do is to fly and have a good time. Especially for pilot Bill Dimmitt. Also known as cowboy to everyone on the field. He's an old school cowboy, literally. It's, you know, instead of riding a horse, he's flying a balloon. Dimmitt's been flying in Fiesta since 98, making this his first time to take off at Fiesta without a hitch. I love to do it. No flight is the same. Making this an unforgettable final mass ascension, an unforgettable year for everyone. Now, there's always one or two days that we seem to lose. But uh, we've, it's really been good for everybody. Haley Rush, KRQE News 13. All that morning flying was given the green light every day. That wasn't the same story for the glows at night. The glows had to be canceled a few times this year due to weather, and America's challenge never got off the ground. Parents.